What is up YouTube, Dr. Wajih here, coming at you with a super hot topic for all my homies in Pakistan. That's right, it's the National Licensing Exam. Now, before we begin, I don't speak on behalf of the PMC. However, they've made all of this information pretty public and easily accessible, and I thought I'd share it with you guys in order to give you a good idea about what this exam is gonna entail. So let's begin. So the first question that should pop in your head is, who has to give the exam? Well, according to the PMC, all medical graduates have to undertake the licensing exam. It doesn't matter if you've started your house job or have completed your house job or are about to start your house job. As long as you're a medical graduate, you can give the exam. However, if you're someone that graduated before March 2020, you don't have to give the exam. But if you graduated after March 2020, then you have to give the exam in order to obtain your full license. Now, how many times does this exam occur in a year? As of right now, twice a year, but they might increase this number depending on the number of candidates they have. So what happens if you can't clear it in your first attempt? Well, there is no bar on the number of times you can attempt this exam. You can attempt it as many times as you need to pass. That being said, how much is it gonna cost you? Well, the figure that they've released so far is 12,000 rupees. However, they haven't specified if this is the cost for part one or part two, but given that August is the first time that this exam is gonna happen, it's safe to assume that part one is gonna cost 12,000 rupees. Maybe they might release a new figure for part two as time goes on. We'll just have to wait and see. Right, so let's move on to exam structure. This is gonna be a two-part exam. The first part is gonna be a theory component, which is gonna be a computer-based test. There will be 200 MCQs, 70% of which are gonna be from your clinical sciences and 30% of which are gonna be from your basic sciences. If we're talking in terms of numbers of MCQs, you can see that there are gonna be 140 MCQs from your clinical sciences. If you look here, you can see medicine and surgery is gonna carry the most weightage, so it would be worthwhile to focus on these subjects the most. From basic sciences, you're gonna have 60 MCQs, and patho, anatomy, physio, and pharma are gonna be the most important ones. So straight off the bat, you can see focusing on some subjects is going to be worthwhile more than focusing on others. If you manage to get 70% or more in this exam, then you passed. Now your result's gonna be valid for five years. What this means is, congratulations, you've just qualified for part two of this exam. Part two is gonna be a clinical skills examination, meaning it's gonna be an OSCE style examination with 20 stations. If I break the stations down, there'll be seven from medicine, seven from surgery, two from OBS and gynae, two from PEDS, one from I, and one from ENT. Now, in order to pass this exam, you need at least 70% in the whole exam, plus you need to have passed the three mandatory stations. Now, what is a mandatory station? Well, according to the PMC, out of the seven medicine stations, there will be one mandatory station. Out of the seven surgery stations, there will be one mandatory station. And the third mandatory station is gonna be either from OBS and gynae or from PEDS, really depending on the examiners. You will not know which stations are mandatory and which aren't. So just give it your best shot. If you get above 70% in this exam, plus you clear all the three mandatory stations, then you passed. Now your result's gonna be valid for two years. That means you can register for your full license with the PMC within the next two years. So if you haven't completed your house job, complete your house job, you've got the NLE exam, now you can register as a medical practitioner. Let me just elaborate a little more on the passing criteria. So the NLE was a two-part exam. Part one was the theory component. You got more than 70% in the NLE and good, you passed part one. Part two was a clinical skills exam. You got more than 70% in that, but when it came to the three mandatory stations, you failed one. Therefore, you overall failed part two. Now, what do you have to do? Well, according to the PMC, you have two more attempts to take the part two exam, but if you fail the part two exam three times in a row, then you're gonna have to take the whole exam all over again, meaning you're gonna have to take part one and part two. However, don't worry, the, you can take the exam as many times as you want because there is no ban on the number of attempts that there are. So let's finally talk about how are you supposed to study for this damn thing? Well, the short answer is nobody knows. But having looked at the syllabus, I would say it would be a wise decision to revise your final year subjects thoroughly and supplement them with first aid. In my opinion, a system-wise approach would be the best, and while you're doing every system, you can uh, go through first aid to have a quick look at the anatomy, physio, patho, and pharmacology of the relevant systems. So we don't really have any passports for the 
people that are taking the exam the first time around, but for people that are gonna give the exam afterwards, combining your final year revision with first aid and past papers is gonna be a very good way of preparing for the exam, in my opinion. If you guys have a different opinion, let me know in the comments below what you guys think would be the best way to prepare for the NLE exam. I do plan on making a video about how well did Irfan Masood Medicine cover the medicine part of the NLE syllabus. If that is something that you guys would be interested in, let me know in the comments below. Right, so how do you register for this thing? The PMC has released an easy seven step process on how to register for the NLE. All you gotta do is go to their website, make an account, fill in the necessary personal information, pay the fee, and verify the filled information. At this point in time, you won't be able to edit your information. Confirm the notification roll number that you receive. Log in to the PMC online website and choose a suitable date and schedule your exam. This advert has the dates for the first ever NLE that's gonna be held in August 2021. The exam is due to be held from the 20th August till the 27th of August and there'll be two exam slots per day. Like most medical examinations in Pakistan, you'll be able to choose uh, the date of your examination close to about a month away from your exam. So good luck to all the candidates that are gonna be giving the exam this year. Uh, may the force be with you and I'll see you on the other side. I hope this video was helpful and it helped clear any doubts or misconceptions you might have had about the NLE. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about it and I'll see you in the next one.